Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign. Today we're back in Myth of Empires and we've finally been given the actual reason as to why the game has been taken down off Steam. I will put it up on the screen over here to the right hand side. Uh, the actual post from Quixar on the official Discord. Remember to like the video if you do enjoy my Myth of Empires content so we can get it to more people around the globe. It's somewhat good news and uh, it's kind of good news because they are fighting the copyright infringement that's been happening. We're going to go over this post and then we'll talk about my opinion on what's going to be going on and what's going to be happening in the future for the channel and for the game. So regarding the recent delisting of Myth of Empires on Steam, as well as the subsequent developments, I mean, like we pretty much knew that it was going to be uh, copyright infringement. We knew there was a lawsuit. We got information from... Uh, some of the hosting providers who said that there was a DMCA notice given for them to take down the servers and stop them from being able to actually open new servers for the game. And I got that information yesterday from an anonymous source. Uh, they've actually asked me not to give their name out, which is why I didn't actually even make a video on it yesterday. And just in case there was a little bit like, you know how it is, someone could send you a screenshot and it's, and it's not exactly what it's meant to be or photoshopped or something like that. So I wasn't going to make a video on it yesterday, but now the announcement has been put out by the official team. So a few days ago steam received allegations of suspected copyright infringement concerning myth of empires and in accordance with the dmca and to exempt itself from liability has temporarily removed myth of empires from its store which is what we talked about yesterday in the previous video when we were talking about how steam would just be doing it to save their own ass and how it was making a mountain out of a molehill for steam to do it but i do understand from a legal perspective why that actually happened our development team solemnly declares angela game fully owns all rights and property associated with myth of empires and will actively respond to any doubts or allegations on this point we are in active contact with steam and are doing our best to restore the game to their store we apologize for the inconvenience that this has caused to the players so they are fighting it likely my opinion a team that has seen how much myth of empires has grown over the past couple of days has sort of tried to put the game stop it in its tracks from development from being able to make sales from getting above all of the other games in their rankings currently because of how good that game actually is and that's just my personal opinion the game is probably one of the best of other games i've played in a long time and i'm having a lot of fun with it and they have all of the systems in place that need to be put in place so it's likely just been put out there as a sort of of slow down precaution from another developer but that's just my personal opinion i don't know if that's 100 accurate or not but we'll actually just have to see how that goes in the future so at the same time we'll continue to improve the overall optimization of myth of empires as well as maintain normal operations and development work which is amazing thank you guys great job we are currently preparing a large number of content updates that cannot be bought online due to the current special circumstances but players that have purchased myth of empires can rest assured that we are confident we will bring you a better gaming experience thank you for all the support and understanding from the Angela game and Myth of Empires team. So just a little quick tiny recap. There's a, sort, there's a DMCA that's been given out. There's uh, court rulings that have been put in place. There's copyright infringement that have been like accusations given against Angela game. Angela game are going to continue to develop the game for and like make optimizations to the game for those that have got the game. And they're currently working with Steam and obviously in courts, etc. to get the game back on the Steam market. Hopefully they can get this sort of thing fixed soon so we can get an influx of new players. I'm seeing every day that there's loads of players trying to get keys for the game. Every day people asking questions in the official Discord. I'm getting comments in the uh, in the YouTube videos asking if there's anywhere that they can get the keys. So there's definitely a lot of hype for the game still. I'm just hoping it doesn't slow it down to the point where we lose traction. But so far, like yesterday when I, we, we was announced that I found out that things in the servers are going down, I started to, I don't know, waver a little bit in my optimism which uh, isn't the hardest thing to do because I'm not a very optimistic person in general but I'm starting to get back on track with this and now I'm, I'm sort of now the announcement's been put out there it has made me feel much better I'm hoping that they'll be able to get this stuff sorted quickly so that's basically it that's the update and that's everything we know so far the link for my discord if you want to ask any questions or join the community over there is in the description the discord link for the official servers if you'd like to go see the announcement itself is in the description as well remember to like us up if you haven't already for all of your myth of empires content fly safe and avoid local chat scams